Um, Johnny, listen, a lot of the talk building up to the match was about, I guess, stiffening the batting and trying to put on that big score that, you, that the team's been chasing for. How much of a, a disappointment was that total? Um, well, I think that if when you look at the toss as well, that obviously didn't go our way. Um, so that's something that um, we'd have also looked to have bowled in that, that first session. To be honest, yes, we lost a couple of early wickets, but the partnership between David and uh, Joe uh, was really good again and naturally disappointing to lose uh, David just before uh, or on the stroke of lunch. So, look, it potentially changes things if, uh, if that doesn't go down then. Um, but yeah, we're still we're still uh, searching for that that big score. But um, like I'm sure that you saw this morning, uh, both teams are looking to bowl first on on that pitch with um, uh, with the help of the conditions this morning and also uh, the tinge of green. Obviously, I prefer to to focus on your own performances. But in the afternoon, did you feel there was one or two self inflicted uh, wounds from the guys in the afternoon session? Look, we've we've got to get a bit. Um, stronger and tougher with our dismissals. Um, we know that we've spoken about that, um, and uh, and that that's just being honest uh, with ourselves. So um, so look, we, we we need to keep uh, keep doing that. We saw in that second innings at uh, Adelaide that we batted for a period of time and uh, and put a lot on each of our wickets. And look, when it comes down to the second innings again here, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. And that, and how much how much hard work do you expect uh, over the next? Uh, next few sessions because you obviously the, the job is now to try and keep that number for Australia down as low as you can but I guess that won't be easy it is but we're also bowling on the same pitch that they bowled on so I think that um, we've seen this evening uh, yes David came out and played some shots and applied pressure back uh, on our bowlers we turn up again in the morning uh, we've seen that the pitch offer um, plenty throughout the day and hopefully we'll be able to um, turn up in the morning. We've got one end that's potentially open with a night watchman, and I look to put pressure on um, Harris and uh, and the night watchman to get some early inroads. Thank you, Joey. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Uh, Mel Farrell, Louis Cameron, Dean Wilson. How do you remember all that? <laughs> thanks, Danny. Uh, thanks, Johnny. Um, just uh, we've seen you uh, that the team generally trying all sorts of um, different things in the nets, different drills, all, all sorts of stuff. Uh, can you give us a sense of, of just how hard uh, you're trying to find uh, the answers um, to, to the batting woes generally? And why do you think it, it is that it's, it's so hard, being so hard to find them? Yeah, everyone's, I can tell you now, everyone's trying. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Everyone is trying. And um different uh, methods, uh, individual mes methods, uh, individual training techniques um, implemented. Uh, why is it so difficult? Um, look, with the pink ball, we know it's not easy with obviously losing the toss on a, both sides, we're going to bowl first. And um, it, like I mentioned, it was uh, overcast with the weather conditions this morning and, uh, and the, the pitch was green. But look, I think that when you've got guys that are still bowling at 138, 140, 144, um, look, it makes you make decisions uh, a lot quicker. And um, look, that's part and parcel of the game. Um, and I, I thought that they they bowled they bowled well, and we can come back in the morning and we can apply that same pressure that they applied to us early on in uh, in that morning session tomorrow. Thank you. No problem. Louis, go ahead. Sorry, Danny, I'm all good, mate. I um, I was only telling Rory that we could hear it. Oh, that's all right, mate. Let's go to Dean then. Dean Wilson, please. Hi, Johnny. Um, I just wanted you to talk a little bit about those dismissals in the middle, particularly between Ben and Joss. You know, you're at the other end and going pretty nicely. Are you a bit disappointed that that kind of shot selection and that the execution from those guys kind of didn't hang around long enough for you to put on a, a decent partnership? Look, I don't think it, it's a need to explain. Obviously, it's the individuals going out and playing um, the way in which uh, they foresee the best way. And that, that's that's exactly what um, uh, what it's about. Naturally, the execution of those um, wasn't, wasn't there today. Um, but the amount of times we've seen um, those shots being executed and, and go to the boundary is uh, is high. So look, it's, it's one of those that they and we will look back on and um, probably reassess next time uh, and potentially take a different option. Does it not 
seem slightly odd. Um, the over before T, just the second ball that you face from a spinner to try and take him down the way that Joss did, that seems slightly odd to me. Uh, look, I think that that's that, that's an individual decision, isn't it? Um, if that's a game plan to take uh, the off spinner down and put pressure back on, um, potentially get another fielder back, uh, then look, then that's that's the game plan that was taken. Thank you. Thanks, Dina. Let's go with the last one, Barat, please, and then we're done. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Danny. Uh, hey, Johnny. Uh, do you think it, it's reached a point in this series, Johnny, where it's not about technique, it's not about, you know, what, what you're really doing in the nets and just about a couple of guys just putting your hands up and saying, let's just take the bull by the horns and uh, just go for it and just break out of this rut that the batting seems to have gone into? Um, look, I think you make a, a decent point. It's about finding a way. Uh, it's about finding a way of scoring runs individually. There's no you look you look amongst techniques that have scored runs over here over many years. There's not one method that works. Um, is there? There's there's many different methods, and and like you mentioned, it is about finding a way. And uh, there's different techniques throughout both sides. Um, there have been people that have analysed people's techniques and game plans as to how they see the best way of uh, scoring runs. But at the end of the day, it does come down to um, does come down to score, scoring runs and spending time out in the middle. Thank you. Cool. I think Thanks. we're done. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Merry Leave Christmas. It. Thank you. Just being recorded by the next. Okay. Crack on then. Let's go with um let's go with Rory and then Mel. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Hi Johnny. Uh you a hear lot us? Of just getting yeah, nothing. You hear me? Oh fuck's sake. Oh, well, so far, <laughs> I'm not muted. Speaker. Righto. Here we go. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we've got you. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Sorry about that.